Humans have long communicated across the ages through art, music, oral history, the written word, and through the collection of artifacts to represent an era, or a time capsule, as a New York public relations expert, George Edward Pendry, called it for the very first time over 80 years ago. And since then, time capsules have taken many different shapes and sizes, from small whiskey bottles to concrete pyramids to entire apartments and even virtual time capsules, everybody has a different approach to commemorating these important times in our lives. What would you put in yours? Here's a list of 15 amazing time capsules of the world. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Number 15. MIT's Great Find Our journey begins at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology on the American East Coast. While breaking ground during initial stages of construction on a new building, workers came across a long-forgotten time capsule buried in 1957. What could be inside, you ask? Well, a copy of A Scientist Speaks by Carl T. Compton new coins from the First National Bank, a class of 1957 mug, and an empty tonic bottle. Most importantly, though, was a small container of synthetic penicillin and a cryotron, a revolutionary new electronics component invented at MIT that year which would eventually help computers become smaller and more energy efficient. But the best part is that the capsule was to remain buried for not 50 years, not 100 years, not 500 years. This epic time capsule was not to be opened under strict orders until 2957. That's 1,000 years. These smarty pants MIT people carefully engineered the capsule with special glass and filled it with argon gas to preserve the contents. And while they were at it, the designers threw in a sample of carbon-14 so that if the glass was breached and the documents destroyed, future scientists could date the contents accurately. MIT President James R. Killian Jr. wrote in his 1957 letter to be sealed within the capsule, We cannot guess what the next millennium holds for the world or whether you will regard our age as one of science, but we are confident that you will have a greater understanding of the universe and that we will have made some contribution to that understanding. We wish you continued success in the pursuit of knowledge. And congratulations, class of 2957. You're welcome. Number 14, Paris Apartment. Picture it, Paris, France, 1939. There's news of World War II breaking all over Europe, and you have to leave for the south of France and abandon every possession you own in your elegant Parisian apartment. La Sai, the beginning of an epic, fictional, Romance novel? No, this is an absolutely true tale of an entire apartment left empty for over 70 years, a time capsule full of rich, sumptuous clues about the life before the Second World War. Remarkably, the rent was paid for years afterwards, month after month, yet the apartment remained empty all that time, completely untouched until the owner, Mrs. De Florian, passed away at the age of 91. Besides gorgeous antique furniture, clothing and toys, and yes, even a stuffed ostrich, a painting by renowned 19th century Italian painter Giovanni Bodini was left in the apartment. It featured a woman thought to be the grandmother, French actress and sociolite Marthe de Florian at 24 years of age. Ooh la la, there's more. The time capsule home also revealed her love affair with the artist through a stack of love letters wrapped in colored ribbon. So the apartment proves to be as loaded with possessions as it is with secrets too, but it's currently not open to the public. But some lucky art history lover bought that painting at an auction for a cool $3 million. Number 13, oldest time capsule. During the United States 1876 Centennial Celebration, Mrs. Anna Dean, the widow of a Civil War veteran, filled an iron safe with several quirky pieces of Americana that she had collected, 
a century safe she called the time capsule, and the safe would remain locked for 100 years until when the then president could open it to celebrate the National Bicentennial in 1976. It contained 19th century relics, snapshots of President Ulysses S. Grant and other politicians by photographer Matthew Brady gilded pens, and inkstands belonging to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, a bound volume containing the names of more than 80,000 government employees, a temperance manual, and a letter from President Rutherford B. Hayes. Mrs. Dean was not playing, but at the time, Congress declined to accept it. Apparently, they deemed the treasure as small business, and it languished in storage for almost 100 years. Can you believe it? Plus, they didn't have the keys but a locksmith cracked the safe and its contents were rediscovered and restored in time for the July 1976 nation's bicentennial festivities. Hooray! At a ceremony attended by President Gerald Ford, Mrs. Dean was formally thanked and the safe was finally received under the original terms. Senator Mike Mansfield said the opening had honored the wish of a lady who sought to speak to us from the other side of a 100-year gulf. It's about time. You go, girl. Number 12, Burbank. Imagine the excitement on November 24, 1986, when a mysterious time capsule long buried in the cornerstone of an old library and almost completely forgotten about was about to be unveiled in Burbank, California. The city hall steps were packed with local news stations, the mayor, and other city officials plus all the friends and family all joined together to celebrate the city's 75th anniversary Diamond Jubilee celebration. You can almost smell the hot dogs grilling, the popcorn popping, maybe, or feel the sticky fingers of children eating cotton candy. The buzz of the crowd is palpable over the marching band nearby playing Great American Standards when a city official clears their throat on the microphone at a podium on a city hall step, spilling noisy feedback over a hungry audience. Ladies and gentlemen, cue the game over music. The celebration was widely considered a disappointment as the time capsule contained mainly unimportant library documents, such as receipts for library plants, etc., and most had disintegrated over time and from water damage due to inadequate asbestos wrapping. Ugh. But there is a lesson here. Sometimes the real treasure is not strange. Historic artifacts or long unsolved mysteries buried for future generations to dig up. Sometimes the best discovery is the power in coming together and celebrating your community pride. Number 11. Nickelodeon. The classic family television channel, Nickelodeon, was launched officially in 1979 and was the first cable network creating shows just for kids of all ages. And in 1992, alongside the Kids World Council, and yes, that is a thing, Nickelodeon decided to commemorate their success with, you guessed it, a time capsule. Together, they decided to include what was deemed as significant as their time, then put them in a big orange time capsule, then bury it in front of Nickelodeon Studios in Universal Studios, Florida. Of course, key items like a chunk of the Berlin Wall, news articles covering current events, a girl standing atop Soviet tank in Red Square during the communist coup attempt in August of 1991, plus coverage of the AIDS crisis, Desert Storm, and the end of the Soviet Union. Books like a world atlas, history book, comic book, phone book, and a TV guide, and even a copy of the Book of Endangered Species were also included. Trendy items such as rollerblades, an early 90s fitness staple, and the inflatable Reebok pump sneakers were voted in too. There was also food, bubblegum, Twinkies, and a collection of movies, including Home Alone, and CDs of popular music at the time, MC Hammer. Top it off with a Barbie doll, a skateboard, a Nintendo Game Boy, and a jar of Gak, the ultimate token of childhood in 1992, buried in this time capsule, has to be the one of TV actor Joey Lawrence's Whoa 92 hats, which he stopped by in person to present. This catchphrase from the early 90s sitcom Blossom made this teen heartthrob a superstar. This time capsule will be unearthed and opened April 30th, 2042, 50 years after it was first buried. Number 10. 121-year-old whiskey bottle. 
So you find a 121-year-old bottle of whiskey in a box inside a bridge in Scotland. What do you do? Is it even whiskey? Well, in fact, it was a bottle of whiskey and some newspaper clippings in a metal box discovered by construction workers on duty on a single-track horse bridge in the Scottish Highlands. Sounds charming, right? Cue the Scottish Pipers. It was a time capsule the size of a shoebox dating back to 1894 with an unlabeled glass bottle with some good old-fashioned whiskey inside, some newspapers, plus some other artifacts. The bridge is currently undergoing major restoration, but the original stone masonry and piers will be restored even as the bridge is upgraded. And the time capsule has been donated to the nearby Highland Folk Museum. And did you know, fun whiskey fact, as long as the bottle of whiskey is kept out of direct sunlight, it will neither improve or deteriorate, even if it's opened. So even if you keep a 12-year-old bottle for 100 years, it will forever taste like 12-year-old whiskey. Mind blown emoji. Number 9. Yahoo Time Capsule You heard it correct. A Yahoo Time Capsule, and not just any old time capsule, a digital time capsule from all the way back in 2006 when Yahoo was a huge deal. Now that may not seem like that long ago, but it's still considered one of the largest compilations of digital media created ever. So back in the day, Yahoo collaborated with artist Jonathan Harris and invited internet users to contribute their thoughts and opinions and their imaginations. Submissions included audio, video, text, and images, capturing what life was like in 2006. An exercise in digital anthropology. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, ask the internet and you shall receive. Yahoo received 170,857 submissions and the collection was entrusted to the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. And in March of 2020, Yahoo's 25th anniversary, the digital capsule was opened on Native American sacred lands in New Mexico. The multimedia installation projected thousands of user-submitted images from around the world onto the huge red rocks of the Jemez Pueblo Desert. The event was streamed live online, of course. The time capsule was also beamed into deep space. A continuous light beam moving into our future, perhaps? In order to make contact with the extraterrestrial life? Maybe. Questions, questions, questions. Number 8. Crypt of Civilization You would think a time capsule called the Crypt of Civilization would have been painstakingly extracted by the world's leading experts from deep in the sands of deserts far, far away. Nope, it's in the basement of Phoebe, Hearst Hall at Oglethorpe University in Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks for asking. And on May 28, 8113, Q epic movie title, the Crypt of Civilization will be opened. Audience roars. And why such a specific date in the very, very distant future? According to the Egyptian calendar, created in the year 4241 BC, marked the first fixed date in the history of man. The year 1936, when the whole idea for the time capsule began, would represent the exact midpoint of recorded human history. Get it? Fast forward 6,093 years. Epic crypt opening extravaganza. And check out some of the contents packed into this 200 square foot box with stainless steel doors welded shut. And keep in mind that this was me in the 1930s. The list of items might differ today, but back then these things seemed important. The list started at one plastic bird, one plastic ashtray, one beetle plastic ornament and bowl, one vanity makeup mirror with light, a cigarette holder, an air conditioner, very specific stuff like the toasterator, a detroler radio, the survival essentials like a fishing rod, a badminton set, a tent, everyday items like a knife, a fork, a spoon, and oh yes, a copy of the New York Herald Tribune, and stuff for babies, one set toy tools, one pacifier, one bubble pipe, one rattle, one toy horse, some toy soldiers, and a cannon, and oh yeah, one plastic flute. What else? Important books, significant documents, toilet paper, the list goes on and can be found on the Crypt of Civilization's official website. Number 7. Nothing New in New Hampshire In 1969, in New Hampshire, a time capsule was sealed in celebration of Nutfield, the colonial township from which the modern places such as 
Londonbury, Derry, Wyndham, and parts of Salem, Hudson, and Manchester was formed. The safe commemorating Nutfield's 250th anniversary was expected to contain newspapers, a film reel, and materials related to the anniversary, including trimmings from a beard contest. You know, treasure. It was supposed to be unveiled and opened at the 300th anniversary in 2019, but apparently the safe did not remain closed. Officials for the celebrations found the safe completely empty. What was in the safe that was so valuable that its entire contents went missing? Certainly not the beard trimmings. Well, rumor has it, the time capsule very well could have included items related to New Hampshire's own Alan Shepard, the first American astronaut in space, later landing on the moon during 1971's Apollo 14 mission. The capsule was closed around the same time and was locked away in the library's local history room. Conveniently, the combination was written on the back of the safe, yet nobody seems to know what happened. Fortunately, the celebration was not ruined and a new time capsule was created and hopefully will still be sealed intact for Nutfield's 350th anniversary. Number 6. National Millennium Time Capsule The year 2000, or Y2K as we said back in the day, was a monumental change of the clock for everyone worldwide. In the United States, the White House Millennium Council asked former presidents and congressional medal winners plus students from around the country what they thought represented America at the end of the 20th century for the official National Millennium Time Capsule. The contents would include cultural, scientific, humanistic and technological achievements. But ultimately, the vessel would express the many hopes of a nation, like the end of world hunger or the cures for cancer and AIDS, to bring more arts and culture into the lives of children and to strengthen democratic principles and civil rights. Obviously, the capsule contained meaningful items like state flags, a computer chip, a piece of the Berlin Wall, film of the moon landing, a model of the Liberty Bell, and more. Here are some other things that were deemed essential to commemorate the new millennium. A photo of civil rights icon Rosa Parks, blind musician Ray Charles' sunglasses, a cell phone, an origami eagle, glass ceramic thermoshock resistant corningware, and of course, Twinkies, a golden sponge cake with creamy filling. But according to the New York Times, the delicious treats were removed then eaten by the White House Millennium Council staff because of mice. Yeah, right. Likely story. The prototype vessel was unveiled at a ceremony on December 31st, 1999. It's currently on exhibit at the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of American History. But the actual time capsule is housed at the National Archives and Records Administration. Number 5. Steve Jobs' Capsule Speaking of mice, Apple founder Steve Jobs designed a mouse in 1983 for the Lisa computer, a machine that might have been a commercial failure for the company but did pave the way for the first Macintosh in 1984. Anyway, Jobs' mouse was buried in a time capsule that same year at the International Design Conference along with many other items from the event. A Sears Roebuck catalog, a Rubik's Cube, an 8-track of the Moody Blues, the 13-foot-long tube was sealed and originally set to be dug up in 2000, but the property where the capsule was buried changed hands, and nobody could find it. Treasure hunters were thrown off by new landscaping in the area, which made its exact location difficult to find. That is, until 2013, when the crew from National Geographic Channel's show Diggers found the elusive Steve Jobs time capsule with thousands of items from the convention. Quite a find. The late Apple founder's mouse is what made it one of the most coveted lost capsules in history. Want to know what else was discovered? How about a 30-year-old six-pack of beer for whoever was lucky enough to unearth the time capsule? Cheers! Number 4. Westinghouse Time Capsule Just imagine what humans will think in 5,000 years when they finally unearth the Westinghouse Time Capsule buried in 1939 in Flushing Meadows, Corona Park, New York. Electronics giant Westinghouse filled an 800-pound, 8-foot time capsule made of copper and chromium lowered 50 feet into the ground at the site of the 1939-40 New York World's Fair. 
It was at this event that people got to see the first public demonstrations of color photography, air conditioning, nylon, and the fluorescent lamp. That is huge. The air conditioning alone, called Dawn of a New Day, the 1939 fair adopted a futuristic theme, but the capsule contained some very regular, everyday objects like men's and women's grooming tools and children's toys, various textiles and technology, miscellaneous items such as money, a microfilm essay, and a newsreel. Seeds were preserved in an inert argon and nitrogen gas to remain intact for the next 5,000 years until the year 6939 to be exact. The capsule manifesto proclaimed, to the people of the future, we leave the legacy. I wonder what a time capsule built 5,000 years from now would contain. Number three, world's largest time capsule. One might ask the question, what is a time capsule? Is it just an empty vessel buried in the ground full of meaningful stuff? 45 years ago, in Seward, Nebraska's 4th of July city, one man set out to figure that one man set out to figure that out and furthermore, build the biggest time capsule in the world. The year was 1975, and proud grandfather Harold Keith Davison, local celebrity, store owner and town character, was thinking about his grandkids. He wanted them to know what life was like in 1975, convinced that they wouldn't remember him. So he filled the time capsule with an odd collection of 5,000 items, including a bikini, an aquamarine leisure suit with stitched yellow flowers, a Kawasaki motorcycle, and a brand new Chevy Vega. The capsule was sealed and was to be opened on the 4th of July in 2025. The 1977 Guinness Book of World Records certified his time capsule as the largest in the world. Kudos, Mr. Davison. But the Oglethorpe University in Georgia protested and claimed that its Crypt of Civilization, sealed in 1940, was, in fact, bigger. But this was a granddad not to be beat. Davison countered that, that their crypt was merely a sealed off room in a campus building and not a time capsule at all. So in 1983, he built a second time capsule even bigger than the first, on top of the old one, in the shape of a pyramid. So there could be no question as to whose was the largest. He also entombed another vehicle, a beat up Datsun or Toyota, nobody seems to remember. But we will all find out in 2025 when right in front of the Davison store, the time capsule will finally be opened. Number two. 75-year-old punchline. It must be so exciting knowing you have a time capsule buried in the ground beneath you, the anticipation of uncovering treasure deep in the earth, the unknown history, the hidden meaning in each object. And in this case, the punchline to a 75-year-old joke. For real? The residents of Lebanon, New Hampshire, discovered a time capsule hidden under the steps of City Hall from 1944. In the form of a brown bottle of whiskey, a very popular artifact in time capsules, and was placed there by former city surveyor Samuel Stevens. Whoever finds this bottle may keep it, he said in the note dated June 10, 1944, but the punchline was that there was no whiskey inside the bottle, just a single penny. Stevens note then added, sorry, there's no liquor in it, but I drank it all up. Aw oh, shucks, the message did suggest that there were more bottles buried for future hunters to find, but until they're uncovered, we will never know if those whiskey bottles are empty or full. Could this be another one of Mr. Stevens' jokes? Penny for your thoughts? Number 1. 50-Year-Old Message If you've ever thoughtfully scrolled a message on paper, sealed it in a bottle, and then tossed it into the ocean, then you probably could imagine the delight the person finding it would feel. But even more so, you might feel the surprise that the message in a bottle was even found. Incredibly, English teacher Paul Gilmore, then 13 years old, dropped the bottle, aka time capsule, into the Indian Ocean while sailing with his family on a liner from the UK to Melbourne 50 years ago. In the note written on November 17, 1969, Gilmore wrote that he was traveling to Australia and was a thousand miles away from Fremantle, hoping that whoever found the note that they might reply, I loved reading adventure stories, Robinson Crusoe and the rest. He said, I think I was hoping a beautiful girl on an exotic island would find it. He added, but alas, it wasn't. 
The message in the bottle was found in South Australia by a 13-year-old boy named Jan Ellett, who was out fishing with his father on the Talia Beach, 1,500 miles away and 50 years later. Can you believe it? What are the odds? Probably very slim. Coincidentally, a family in Perth found an even older time capsule in the form of a bottled message after it was thrown to sea. Experts confirmed it was the real deal, a message from a German ship 132 years ago. Those were the 15 most amazing time capsules in the world. What did you think about today's video? Do you have any other time capsules that we're not aware of? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for checking us out. We'll see you soon.